Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed an MP3 file from an upload to your Dropbox account into a WordPress web page. The starting point for this tutorial assumes you already have a WordPress based website and that you have an MP3 file you would like to embed on the site and that you have a Dropbox account optionally with the Dropbox app installed on your Windows based computer. Now you might ask why would you want to do this? Mainly so you don't have to upload the MP3 file to your own web server. If for example your website is a blog and you already have a bunch of pictures on your website you might be concerned that you will approach or even exceed the storage limits of your server. Once you begin adding audio files to your site that will add a lot more storage space requirement to your server so that could be a concern. You definitely should not use this technique if you expect your page to get a large number of views. According to the Dropbox help forum as of now in the middle of 2017 free Dropbox accounts have a limit of 20 gigabytes of traffic per day or 100,000 downloads. Every time someone listens to an audio on your web page that will be traffic the size of the audio file and it will count as one download. So if you expect to come anywhere near those limits you might consider upgrading to a paid Dropbox account which has a 200 gigabyte traffic limit. The first step is to upload the mp3 file to a folder in your Dropbox account. The easiest way to do this is to drag and drop the file to the Dropbox sync folder on your computer as long as you have the Dropbox app installed. Alternatively, you can simply upload the file via the internet using the Dropbox web interface. This is a demo of uploading a file via the Dropbox web interface. Once the file is transferred to Dropbox, the next step is to get a link to that file and paste that link into a text editor. If you have the Dropbox app installed on your PC, then open a file explorer window, go to the Dropbox folder where you have the audio file stored, right click on that file and select copy Dropbox link from the context menu. If you do not see this selection in your context menu, then you probably need to start the Dropbox app. Simply click on the start orb and type Dropbox to start it. Once the app is started, you should be able to see the copy Dropbox link in your context menu. Click on this, then immediately paste it into your text editor. If you are using the Dropbox web interface, simply navigate to the file you want to embed and click on the share button beside the file. If you have not yet shared this file, you will need to click on the create a link button. Finally, click on the text copy link and immediately paste it into your text editor. The link will be the same whether you get it from the Windows Explorer app or from the Dropbox web interface. The reason we are pasting this link into a text editor is that we need to modify it before we can use it in WordPress. We will be modifying the links arguments. The argument section is at the end of the link starting with a question mark. The link as you copied it should have an argument that says question mark DL equals zero. We need to change this so it reads question mark raw equals one. Go ahead and make that change to the link in your text editor. Once that's done, highlight the entire link and copy it with control C. Finally, let's put this link into our WordPress page or post. From your WordPress dashboard, open the post or page for editing and go to the location where you want to embed the audio player. It might help to find where on the page you want to put the sound file while in visual mode then enter some placeholder text that will make it easy to find in the text mode. In this demonstration I am adding a row of at signs 
which will make it easy to find when I scan down the text mode editor. Next, switch over to the text mode and locate the spot where you want to insert the audio player. You can see here I'm finding that row of at signs and I am deleting them so I'll have a place to put in the audio player. At this location, we're going to use the intrinsic or built-in WordPress audio player shortcode. We do this by typing the opening and closing tags for the player thus, open bracket, audio, close bracket, open bracket, slash audio, close bracket. For this short code to work, you must have WordPress version 3.6 or later installed. However, since it's just plain bad practice not to keep WordPress updated to the latest version, I'm sure you don't need to worry about that. At the end of the start audio tag, but inside the closing bracket of the start tag, we're going to add a parameter that tells the player where to get the file it's going to play. Just before the closing bracket of the start tag, add a space, then add mp3 equals quote quote. Next, position your cursor between those two quotation marks and paste the link you just copied from your clipboard. That's all there is to it. You will note there is nothing between the start and the end audio tags between the close bracket of the start tag and the opening bracket of the close tag. All you need to do now is preview and or publish your page and check out that the audio player works as it should. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great video from David's Tutorials.